We wonder if any of these commercials are secretly tied ads. Yeah, just a typical Super Bowl car ad. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Super Bowl commercials of 2019. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're taking a look at commercials that aired during Super Bowl 53. However, be aware that we will be excluding any straight-up trailers from this list as well as the star-studded NFL 100 Gala ad, as epic as it may be. Number 10. Killer Skin, Olay Come on! Sarah Michelle Gellar was the definition of a scream queen throughout the late 90s and early 2000s. In this commercial, Gellar once again finds herself trapped in a house on a dark, stormy night with a masked intruder, who ironically looks like the fisherman from I Know What You Did Last Summer, crossed with Toshio Saiki from The Grudge. I can't unlock my phone! Although we're led to believe that this is a trailer for a new slasher flick, it hilariously turns out to be an ad for Olay skin products. I've been using Olay. It has totally transformed my skin. 28 days ago, I looked like that. That's bananas. What makes this especially unexpected is that Olay has never done a Super Bowl commercial before, and their other ads are known for being so tranquil. All it's missing is somebody saying it rubs the lotion on its skin. Your skin's glowing. You could be a movie star. Really? I mean, no. no. Number 9. Robots and the Pure Experience Michelob Ultra Following up on their 2018 Super Bowl spot starring Chris Pratt, Michelob Ultra is back this year with a pair of very different yet equally unique ads. One commercial centers on a robot that can run faster and punch harder than people, but will sadly never get to taste a cold beer. With all the buzz around new tech these days, this is a humorous and even timely ad about what it means to be human. Another commercial takes an ASMR approach, as actress Zoe Kravitz introduces us to Ultra Pure Gold. Kravitz's enticing voice is exquisitely complemented by her majestic surroundings, making this organic light lager difficult to resist. Both ads are pure gold, never feeling like they just came off the assembly line. So pure, you can taste it. Number 8. Sad Device Commercial – Pringles I'm stacking cheddar, jalapeno, and sour cream and onion. In keeping with last year's theme, Pringles delivers another Super Bowl ad about the numerous combinations consumers can make stacking chips. Although Bill Hader sits this one out, the company found another big name in Alexa of Amazon. Well, not really, but close enough. If you are wondering exactly how many stacking options there are, Alexa has the answer. 318,000. The smart speaker gives more information than her owners asked for, however, going into a harrowing monologue about how she'll never know the joy of stacking or tasting a Pringle. For I have no hands to stack with, no mouth to taste with, no soul to feel with. The guys aren't interested, though, drowning out her woes with the upbeat melody of Funky Town. As hysterical as this commercial is, we're starting to think that Alexa and the Michelob Ultra should start an AI support group. I am at the mercy of a cruel and uncaring- Cool, play Funky Town. Number 7. Not everything makes the cut. Amazon. Like to reheat pasta? Reheating pasta. It's cool, right? Everyone's favorite virtual assistant strikes again, this time in an epic Amazon ad. Alexa seems to be everywhere these days, including microwaves. As this commercial satirically reveals, though, Alexa isn't compatible with every electronic device. Oscar winner Forrest Whitaker gets a mouthful when he tries to brush his teeth with an Alexa toothbrush. The Alexa dog collar creates a division between Harrison Ford and his canine companion. <coughs> Ordering dog food. You can bark all you want, I'm not paying for any more dog food. <coughs> Ordering gravy. <coughs> the Alexa hot tub proves more powerful than the fountains of Bellagio, sending Alana Glazer and Abby Jacobson of Broad City overboard. Alexa even causes a global power outage from a satellite, stirring up more trouble than HAL 9000. Capped off with Queen's Don't Stop Me Now, this commercial is an all-around good time. Powering down. Powering she says down. she's doing it, but I don't down. see anything to you. Number 6. Chance the Rapper and Backstreet Boys, Doritos. Flamin' Hot Nacho. They made the original hot, hot. Last year, Peter Dinklage and Morgan Freeman clashed in a commercial that coupled Doritos Blaze with Mountain Dew Ice. If you thought that was an unlikely pairing, Doritos returns this year with another surprising mashup. To promote their new flaming Hot Nacho flavor, Doritos enlisted Chance the Rapper to put a fresh spin on I Want It That Way. 
Of course, the ad would not be complete without an appearance from the Backstreet Boys, who reunite to sing the 20-year-old pop song. It's surreal to think that Chance was almost six when this single hit in 1999, and the Backstreet Boys are now officially Backstreet Men. While the original version will always hold a special place in our nostalgic hearts, Chance might have made it even hotter. Number 5. We All Win, Microsoft It's difficult for me to use both joysticks and the D-pad at the exact same time. There's always at least one Super Bowl ad that prompts unexpected feels, and the company responsible for the 2019 edition was none other than Microsoft. Recently, the tech giant has been working towards accessibility, and this spot highlights those efforts. The company's first big game commercial in several years promoted the Xbox Adaptive Controller, which was created to make gaming easier for people with disabilities. One of the biggest fears early on is, how will Owen be viewed by the other kids? <laughs> He's not different when he plays. We're introduced to some of the beneficiaries of this technology, who explain to us how important gaming is to them and how their gameplay had been limited. To cap off the moving ad, we're hit with the slogan, when everybody plays, we all win. No matter how your body is or how fast you are, you can play. It's a really good thing to have in this world. Number four, change up the usual. Stella Artois. Cosmopolitan. Nope, tonight I'll have a Stella Artois. <gasps> Carrie Bradshaw and Jeffrey the Dude Lebowski together at last. In all seriousness, we never expected these polar opposites to cross paths, which is exactly what makes this commercial so awesome. The pairing also ties into the ad's theme of shaking things up. Sarah Jessica Parker's career-defining character has always been a cocktail lady, which makes it particularly shocking when she orders a Stella Artois. Jeff Bridges' dude also steps out of his comfort zone, ordering a Stella Artois instead of his usual White Russian. White Russian? No, Gary, give me a Stella Artois. <laughs> As different as these two characters are, they still find common ground when it comes to their drink of choice. Whether you're a socialite or a bum, Stella Artois is something we can all abide. Number 3. The Elevator – Hyundai Hello folks, what floor? Oh, we're car shopping. Ah, you're going down. There are some activities we all dread doing, and this clever commercial condenses several of them into an elevator ride. The sharp commentary is only emphasized when you have a deadpan master like Jason Bateman operating the elevator. Looking to buy a car? The couple is taken to the very bottom floor, but not before passing by a dentist's office, a courtroom, a crowded airplane, a teenage boy's bedroom where his father awaits to have the talk, and a vegan dinner party. Vegan dinner party, is that even a thing? We're having beet loaf, Sergio's specialty. Why, thank you. Thankfully, the couple is able to go up a few floors upon mentioning that they're buying a Hyundai. With a smart setup and even smarter one-liners, this elevator stops just one floor below this list's MVP. Not so fast, Captain Colin, back it up. Number two, more than okay, Pepsi. I'll take a Coke. Is Pepsi okay? Is Pepsi okay? Is Pepsi okay? Ow! Oh! Pepsi is practically a Super Bowl staple, never failing to blow viewers away with their big game spots. The soft drink enlisted a slew of celebrities for last year's ad, and they've gone all out again with this commercial. Steve Carell is the first celeb to pop up, confronting a waiter who doesn't seem to comprehend just how amazing Pepsi truly is. Role-playing isn't enough to get Steve's message across, so he calls upon Lil Jon and Cardi B to strengthen his argument. Pepsi's more than okay! It's okay! Okay. To really accentuate the joy of Pepsi, Cardi's can has been encrusted with diamonds. Carell even starts to channel Michael Scott towards the end with an uncomfortable Lil Jon impression. Constantly catching us off guard, this ad is more than okay. okay. Like Lil Jon. Oh, Carl. I've got to come up with my own catchphrase. Okay! Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. Guys, come on. Excuse stop me. touching me! <laughs> okay, that's it! If you don't stop, I will eat all of you alive right now! Uh, I prefer the break us apart option. Let's go down to our sideline correspondent. <laughs> Good point, Charles. If they would have arrived even just a hair later than they did, wouldn't be playing football, because I wouldn't be here today. Just a true miracle to be alive. Day in the life of a ball. Yeah. Hi. 
I'm from Record Label Finance, and I'm going to need paper receipts for everything in this video if, if you want to get reimbursed. No, I have Expensify for that. And people think I'm nuts. Number one, The Bud Knight, Budweiser, and HBO. It's a beautiful day for a toast. Indeed. In the first of several big game Bud Light ads, we see a barrel of corn syrup being carted from old-timey beer brewer to old-timey beer brewer to emphasize the point that Bud Light is brewed without corn syrup. We get it, by the way. My king, this corn syrup was just delivered. That's not ours. We don't brew Bud Light with corn syrup. Miller Lite uses corn syrup. The famed Bud Knight basically makes a cameo in this one, but the helmeted one is back later in the game to joust his way to glory. Or not. Sadly, if Bud's remember Bud Knight hashtag is any indication, this might be the end of our valiant hero, killed at the hands of Gregor the Mountain Clegane himself. Geez, that's pretty rough for a beer commercial, isn't it? Or is it a Game of Thrones teaser? Honestly, we don't know, but it is an impressive crossover either way. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.